Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is a Q&A. I've got, um, not all of my presents have arrived, but I've got some stuff for Isaac, a couple books that we are giving him. Really, he's not getting very much for Christmas, but I want to wrap them anyway. And then I've got a few gifts in boxes already because I am pretty sure that the people these are going to watch these videos and I'm not trying to give any presents away. So I'm gonna answer some questions while I wrap. I hope that's okay. I think I have more questions than I have things to wrap. So this will just turn into a cool Q&A. I think the first thing I'm gonna wrap is this. I gotta peek what's in here though. Okay, so the first question is from Katie <laughs> and it's when will we be expecting another precious baby? <laughs> we're still trying to figure out what we're doing <laughs> with one kid, um, but the plan is to wait. Um, I want to have enough of a gap where I can catch my breath, maybe, maybe, and um, then we'll we'll see from there. But that's the plan. Next question is best tips for a new mom. Who best tips for a new mom? Drink lots of water. I guess if you're pregnant and you're a first time mom, I would say sleep as much as you want to. Watch as much TV as you want to, all the movies you feel like watching. Just do all of that. Spend a lot of time doing the things that you really love to do. Like for me, it was watching TV and going to coffee shops because that era of your life is gonna end. And maybe not forever, but it is gonna be put on hold for the foreseeable future. Because even the best baby doesn't really have anything to do at the coffee shop. So I would say, do that accept help i know for me it's really difficult to accept other people's help also i would say feel free to like not make any plans with people like i'm not saying don't get out of the house but feel free to like make very tentative plans with people and to the right people who like people who get it people who want to be in your life like truly want to be in your life they will understand so the next question let's see is from ah, my sister what inspires you i feel like i've been very inspired by musicals in my life um i don't know why a very like dramatic singing <laughs> of a life moment no 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 isaac don't tends to just like strike a chord with me and gives me the kick in the butt that i often need to make my dreams happen to get things going so being outside like being out in nature is really inspiring for me if life circumstances and money weren't a consideration where in all of the world would you live paris i would 100 percent live in paris my friend Olivia asked me so many questions and I'm so excited about it because that it was very nervous that no one would ask a question. So how'd you get into capsule wardrobing? Where to start? I got into it because I graduated college and I'd started a new job, like a desk job. I was a glorified receptionist and I just got started because I hated all of my clothes. I did looking at my closet and having nothing to wear. It took me about a year of like really thinking about it and really trying to, I like would pin and then erase everything, would pin more images, erase everything. And I kind of just had to go through the motions of like trying to nail down what it is I liked. And then I just took the plunge. I just took the plunge and I made my first capsule and it was awful. <laughs> it was not great. But ever since I've just used it as an, as an exercise to be intentional and to reflect on the clothes that I have. Next thing is what are your favorite purchases, favorite Madewell purchases that you've made? These high rise slim boy jeans, for sure the OG button through high rise jean. My 10 inch high rise in the haze wash, which is like that dark blue wash. I loved them. My overalls, <laughs> I'm just naming denim. <laughs> my overalls, my short overalls. Those are the ones that came to mind immediately. Anything from Madewell that I haven't loved. I bought a, I mean, it's a cute dress. It's a really cute shift yeah. dress. I bought it for Easter last, last year. Broke my 10 by 10 to wear this 
um, this dress to Easter Sunday and I wore it that Easter Sunday and then I never wore it again. <laughs> I like the idea of the central shirts and the courier shirts but when I wear them I like I don't know how to style them. I don't look like me in those clothes. What are your biggest passions? My biggest passions are all right so I had to pause this so that I could nurse him and he's very sleepy so I'm just gonna hold him. I got exactly one present wrapped but that's okay. For me sustainability is a big passion. I am not perfect at it. I don't ever claim to be perfect at it but also I feel like trying to find my passion <laughs> is my biggest passion. <laughs> Next question. Favorite books. This one is funny um, because I always joke that I'm not well read and I'm not. <laughs> my favorite genre of book is funny memoirs by funny women. I really lo like Nora Ephron's books. I love Mindy Kaling's books. Bossy Pants was like everything. I love that book so much. I would say those are my favorites. What milestones are you most looking forward to with the little guy? Right now, I'm very excited for him to crawl. I know that I'm gonna eat those words later on, but I just see him wanting to crawl so much and really like putting in that effort to do so. I'm just excited to see him do it because I love watching him accomplish these like big milestones because he gets really excited about them. What are you most proud of? I think the thing I'm most proud of is studying abroad, like making that happen. I didn't think I could study abroad and I did and I loved it and it was such a great experience. I highly recommend studying abroad if you are currently in college. So any New Year's resolutions? New Year's resolutions I kind of decide the week of New Year's so I don't know. Um, and then stuff that I'm looking forward to in 2019. We have a trip to Hawaii with my family right around right before Isaac's birthday so I'm excited to get on an airplane because I have not been on an airplane in so long. I'm excited for Hawaii. I'm excited for his first birthday. I'm excited to hopefully go to Disneyland for the first time with him next year. I think that's what I'm most looking forward to. The next question is, ever been to New Zealand? No. I have not been to New Zealand, but I was just thinking about this. I would love to go to New Zealand. Just the open spaces look amazing. I would love it. I just know I would. This next question is, do you have any other mommy friends or is it mainly you and Izzy during the day? Um, yes. Um, I do have a few mommy friends. Most days it is just me and Isaac, honestly, because it's easier. Being a new mom is, is isolating, not just because you don't know what you're doing, but just because if you don't have plans, it's easier to go with the flow. So a lot of days we don't make plans. Next question is, how do you stay motivated to consistently create and post content, do Insta stories, etc.? First of all, thank you so much. I really love Instagram. I, I like taking photos. I love editing. I like looking at new hashtags. It's just something I enjoy doing. And so it's not easy, but it comes easy, if that makes sense. How do I stay consistently motivated? I, I guess I don't. I don't post every day on Instagram anymore because I found I can go for like maybe a week of posting every day and then I hit a roadblock and I hate everything that I've taken and I have no photos and I'm just so uninspired um, and I just kind of like pull back and once I feel inspired again then I'll start snapping photos and like today I just noticed the light in my apartment and I felt really good about it so I like started taking a couple pictures here and there and I'll edit them and hopefully post them. Sometimes I take photos and I don't post them at all because they don't align with my feed but the way I day on insta stories is i'm an oversharer and i'm home alone and i like talking to people i mean i'm comfortable on camera obviously <laughs> i just like to do it i could talk about instagram all day so if you have more questions about instagram leave them in a comment and we'll talk about it all right next question is biggest shock when you became a mom i think the biggest shock when i became a mom was the anxiety my anxiety spiked when i was pregnant like this time last year, I was having legit panic attacks, but the anxiety that you bring a kid home, like, I, and I don't hear a lot of people talk about this, but it's like, all of a sudden, you have this new little life with you and that you're responsible for, and it's like, next thing you know, all you see is danger. <laughs> everywhere. Even now, um, if someone like approaches me while I'm trying to get Isaac in his stroller or in his car seat, I like immediately go into fight 
or flight mode like mostly fight but I go like my adrenaline starts pumping and I start like trying to assess the situation to see if I'm in any danger if my kid is in any danger I'm like hyper aware of risk now I guess it's calmed down a lot but I still I still get it from time to time I was really honest <laughs> what does your me time look like currently my me time looks like me popping in earbuds and editing videos at night after Isaac goes to sleep or while he's napping. Me time doesn't really look like anything right now. And I think that's just the nature of the beast of having a little one, especially one that's breastfed. Pumping is just such a hassle, honestly. Like I never fell into any kind of pumping routine. I don't have anything stored in my, my freezer. So like for me to go out, it's like an ordeal. And so I just kind of tend to not do it. No, my friend Marissa, who's a subscriber. Thank you, Marissa, for leaving a couple questions. I have to pull them up really quick. And she asks, do you have any favorite YouTubers to watch? I do. My favorite, I think if I had to name my top three, the top three channels that I like watch all the time are Kathleen Lights. Uh, she's a beauty YouTuber. I love her. And then the next one is uh, my friend Lauren. She is Lauren Johnson on YouTube. She kills it. They're so good. She, her flat lays are beautiful. Her Instagram is great. I just, I love her. I'm such a fan. And then the third channel that I say I watch pretty consistently is um, Kitty Cotton's channel. I really love her style also. I love, she has a daughter who's I think one and a half, two months older than Isaac is. So it, it's fun to watch another YouTuber become a mom and like kind of navigating this like how do we create videos uh, as new mothers with infants those are my top three channels I would say next question is what has becoming a mom taught you about yourself it's taught me that I am much stronger than I think I am I'm more resilient than I thought I was and it's also taught me that I have like a lot of work to do in becoming patient and becoming the mother that I really want to be and the person that I really want to be so yeah, a couple positives, a couple of like areas for growth. And then last question, what are your same one? Ugh, can you tell I've been talking for an hour? What are some of your favorite bands musicians? I always feel really old when I have to answer these questions. I would say as far as like current new artists go, Lord is probably my favorite one. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, I managed to wrap one present before Isaac fell asleep, but he has stayed asleep while I filmed this, so that's a miracle too. Thank you guys again so much for leaving questions. You don't know how much it means to me. Thank you for tuning in for Vlogmas. It's been so much work, but it's been a lot of fun. If you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you did. Um, and also you can follow me on Instagram. I'm at tinted underscore green, and I'm usually on there on stories. My camera's dying. Ah! Thank you guys so much for, for watching, subscribing. Please do if you haven't already. I will see you guys back here. Uh